Hello kids! And today we have six games! So let's play our first game! And today we're gonna solve the panda puzzle! We're gonna play with the panda puzzle! So here we have the panda that's holding the bamboo! And right here we have rainbow! That's right! And look at this panda! She's looked pretty happy about it so let's get started so the first puzzle that we're gonna solve gonna be the panda puzzle this one so we need to find the panda but how we gonna do this the first step gonna be to rotate those cubes and try to find the panda so let's start with first cube can you see the panda can you see the panda let's can you see the panda here no there is no panda okay let's leave it aside let's try next one can you see the panda can you see the panda no let's try next one so we need to rotate them and try to find the panda right so the panda colors are white with black okay so this one cube also doesn't have any panda okay the next one does this have the panda? Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Tell me if you see the panda. Yes! Here is the panda! Great! So let's place it here at the moment, right? And let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? Can you see the panda? Let me know, please, if you see the panda. Let me know. Yes! Here is the panda! Great, let's leave it here. And the next one that we're gonna have, again, let's try to find the panda. Can we see the panda? Here is the ear of the panda, can you see? Here is the ear of the panda. Okay, let's leave it here. And the next one, again, let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? No. Let's rotate this way. And then let's rotate this way and see no there is no panda the next one cube let's take it and rotate let's see if there is the panda mm. does this is the ear of the panda yes this is the ear of the panda here okay great then let's put it here on the puzzle board let's take the next one and rotate so what we are doing we're rotating the cube and trying to see if we can identify any panda parts, right? So let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No, okay, let's put it aside. Next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's try it this way. Can you, is this is the panda? No, this is the koala. Okay, but we need the panda. Can you see the panda? Is this is the panda let's look at our image it's holding the bamboo yes this is the panda puzzle piece okay let's place it on the puzzle board and then let's rotate can you see the panda can you see the panda hmm let's rotate this way can you see the panda no okay let's leave it aside and the next one can you see the panda Hmm, can you see the panda? Let's rotate another way. Hey, no, there is no panda here. Can see it. Okay, let's leave it. The next one. Can you, is this is the panda? Hmm, but let's rotate and see if there is any other pieces. Hmm, no, this is, this is actually the panda with the paws. You can see here is the paws. The left leg and the right and here is the left leg and the right okay let's take this one here and the next one let's rotate and can you see the panda maybe some part of the panda maybe the leg of the panda can you see the leg of the panda yes here is the leg of the panda let's look at our image and here you see here is the part of the leg of the panda here is the rainbow right so it's the same great let's take to 
our puzzle board. And the next one, okay, here we have the B, here we have, who is that? Do you know who is that? Tell me please, who is this? You know it. It's Panda, nice job, great. And the last one piece, gonna be this one. Let's try to find the Panda. Uh, cannot see any Panda, okay. Here is the Panda, great, with the bamboo. Amazing! Let's look at this puzzle board. So we found the puzzle pieces where we can see the panda, right? And here we have another puzzle pieces that will later gonna help us to finish the puzzle. Okay, so here we have the left eye of the panda and this one is right eye of the panda. So let's combine them. See here we have the face with the nose and the smile. The next one, what we're gonna take, gonna be the body of the panda or maybe the ears of the panda that's gonna help us. Let's look at our image and let's look at this face. Okay, so here's the face, here's the ears, right? So we can combine them maybe together like this. Hmm. It doesn't work well, right? So maybe this ear should be mostly on the left like this and this one here okay let's leave it like that and the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the body of the panda so here is the bamboo and the hands of the panda so let's try place it here like that great it comes along really well okay and the next one that we need gonna be the paws of the panda so maybe let's try to place them here like this okay and the next one that we're gonna try to find maybe gonna be this one so here is the bamboo and here is the bamboo like this hmm seems to be all right okay and let's try maybe to turn around them like this Try this and then turn around this one. Great, well done. We almost have the panda here. Amazing. So, and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the bottom part of the panda. Hmm, it seems to be the right way. Okay, and here's the part of the leg that we found earlier. So let's place it right here. Great, so we completed the panda but we still need to complete the wall puzzle. And if we look at the image here, we have the rainbow. Okay, so let's try to find the rainbow. So can you see the rainbow? Here is the rainbow and here is the rainbow. Let's take this two. Let's turn around others. Can you see the rainbow? Here is the part of the rainbow. Let's next one. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, no. Oh, okay, but this one seems to be like a part of the panda ear. And here's the bamboo. Let's also leave it like this. Then let's turn around and see if there is the rainbow. No, there is no. Here's again the bamboo. Okay, great. Is there is the rainbow or maybe bamboo? Can you see the bamboo? Hmm, is this is a bamboo? What do you think? Yes, correct. Okay, so and the last one is, hmm, let's try it again to rotate and see. There is the rainbow. Hmm, I think this is the part of the rainbow and here's the part of the tail of the panda. Great. Okay, so right now we have found other pieces that we need to combine. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna use our rainbow, right? And we're gonna rotate like this. And then we're gonna place then we're gonna take another piece with the rainbow and we're gonna hmm, should we place it here no we should place it here hey and then another piece we need to rotate it maybe like this what do you think hmm, doesn't work well so maybe it should go on other side and then we rotate and here we have the panda great and then another 
I should try to take another piece with a rainbow here another piece with a rainbow and place it great well done so here's another part of the rainbow so it should go somewhere here right so great and here is another part of the ear and where we have the ear so it's from the left ear so should we place like this what do you think yes great amazing and then we have another last puzzle piece but this one we need to rotate to make it right okay this doesn't work let's rotate again and yes we've completed the panda puzzle amazing so let's continue with the next one puzzle that was amazing and our next game is game number two so let's start hello kids and today we're gonna learn how to count the numbers the colors the animals behind those letters the alphabet the fruits the shapes and everything else let's start oh where did they go we don't have any more numbers we don't have alphabet and we don't have shapes and we don't have also our animals and we need to find them and we need to find them in those crayons so we have colorful crayons and the first crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the red one let's shake and let's open like this wow so many things here okay so maybe let's start with a fish so here we have the fish that has number three and it's a red fish so where should we place we have one two and three here's gonna be our fish great let's continue with our puzzle and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the number three look at this this is the number three and it's a red color and where we should place let's count one two and three we should place it here great and let's continue with the next one and next one that we're gonna take gonna be the letter d okay and we need to find the letter d so this is a for alligator this is B letter, bear, this is cat, C, and this is D, duck. Great, let's place it here and let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter M, great. And the letter M we need to find here. So let's look, is it cat? Is the first letter C is M? No, let's look around maybe h no okay so m is for monkey great and we should place it here amazing and let's take the next letter and the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter t and let's look where we can place the letter t where we can fit it so we have let's say octopus and octopus starts with letter O, but O is not letter T, no. So let's look around. So what what animal we have for letter T? Tiger, yes, T, tiger. Great, well done. And the next that we're gonna take, gonna be the shape. And it's a violet color shape, right? And we need to find the fruit that represents the shape okay so let's look where we can place it can we place here no it's an apple can we place maybe here you see here is the dragon fruit and we can see that this is a shape that we can fit in great and let's go with the next one shape and here is the green shape and green shape we can place maybe here because here is a watermelon okay 
Not like this. Great. And let's take this. And this is the symbol or how it's called the sign and it's called equal sign and it's used in a map. So let's look around where we can put it. And I can see that here is the minus sign. Here is the plus sign and here is the equal sign. Great. And it's a red color. And let's look for the next one. And next one we have minus sign for subtraction. Okay, let's look where we can place. And there is a lot of place where we can do. Can we place maybe here? No, it doesn't fit here. It's too big for this space. Okay, so here we have plus sign. Here we have equal sign. And this is minus sign. Great. And it's a red color. Amazing. And the next one, what we have is our earth it's where we live it's where humans live it's where the animals live so let's find the place okay hmm, where it could be and i see that he it it is also the earth and this one also so it matches together so we can place it like this great let's continue with the next one and the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the green crayon so let's open great we have a lot of things here we have two fishes and numbers and animals so let's start with the fish and this is fish that has the number four so let's find where we can put it and let's go one two three and four great amazing and let's look at those numbers so this is number four and where we should place it yes one two three and four great amazing and the next one number that we're gonna take gonna be the number five and where we should put it let's count one two three four and five here great and we have here the number five so we're gonna place it right here after the number four great let's continue with our journey and the next that we're gonna solve gonna be the alphabet so here we have the letter E and we need to find the elephant. So the first letter of the elephant is letter E. Eh, eh. So there is alligator, bear, cat, duck and elephant. And elephants are living in a savanna. Great. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter J. Great. And let's see where we can place this letter. Hmm. And which animal represents that? So I can see here is the giraffe, but it's a G letter. It's not J letter, right? So let's look here. Here we have the cute animal called Jaguar. Great. And let's place this letter here. Amazing. And let's continue with the next one. And next one letter that we have is letter U. And it's a red color letter. And let's see where we can put it. Hmm. Can you see the place? I can see here we have the unicorn. Unicorn. And this is letter U. So we can fit it here like this. Great. And let's continue with our shapes. So here we have the green shape. Okay, and let's find the place where we can fit. Hmm, you see there is the apple and this is matches our shape. So it also have five sides. Okay, great, amazing. Let's take the next one. And the next one we have yellow shape. 
And let's see, yellow shape represents the fruit called kiwi. So let's find the kiwi. Can you see the kiwi? Yes, it's here. This is the kiwi. And this is our yellow shape. Great, amazing, well done. And let's see who we have here. And here we have the elephant. And look, the elephant is smiling to us. So let's find where we can put the elephant. Can you see on this board the elephant? Yes, it's here. Here is the elephant. And elephants, they have the big ears. Okay, great. And let's continue and let's take the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna take gonna be the yellow crayon. And let's shake it and open. Wow, so many things we have here. We have letters, we have fish, we have shape. Great, let's start. So here we have the fish and it has the number two. Okay, and let's see where we can place it. So we have number one and here we have number two. And we can place it right here and it's an orange color. Great. And then let's look at this number. So this number is yellow color and it's number called one. And it always starts with the number one when we count. So when we say one, two, three. So it starts with number one here. Great, well done. So then let's take the letter S and let's see where we can place in our alphabet. Okay, so we have a lot of letters here. So letter S and we need to find the ship. Can you see the animal called ship? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. Great. Can, we can place here the letter S. And let's continue with next one letter. And the next one letter is letter Z. And we need to find the animal called zebra. Where the animal zebra? Yes, it's here. Great. Let's put it here. Amazing. And let's continue. The next one, we have the letter L. And L, we need to find the animal called lion. And you can see the lion is here. And lion, they are live in savanna. Great. And let's take the next one. And here is the C. And we pronounce it like K. -k. So we need to find the cat, right? Where is the cat? Yes, the cat is here. C, cat. Great. And next, we have the shape. And this shape has basically five sides. So we need to find the shape which has the five sides, like this, right? So let's find it. And we need to find the fruit called pomegranate. So, and it is here. Great, we can place the shape here. Amazing, and let's take this one. What we have here? Oh, we have here the alien in his spaceship. Great, and where we can see the alien on this board? Can you see the alien? Yes, it's here, great. And let's continue with the next crayon. And next crayon that we're gonna pick, gonna be the pink crayon. Let's shake and open. Great, we have so many things here that we need to go through. But as always, let's go through the numbers. And the number here, we have fish and the number is seven. So let's find the number seven. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, and yes, seven. And here we can place our fish. Great, let's continue. Okay, and the next one is number that we're gonna be gonna be the number six. Great, and let's see where we can place the number six. So we have here the number one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. Great. And let's pick the next one. So what we have here is the number seven. Look, it's a number seven. And when we should place the number seven, can you see on the board where we should place? Yes, we have five, six, and seven. Correct, well done. And next one number that we have is number six. And the number six, we should place right after the number five. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, we almost completed our number board. So let's continue with the letters. Which letter it is? Can you say this letter name? Yes, it's letter F. F, F. So we need to find the animal called fox. Let's search where it could be. Can you see the fox? Yes, I know you could see it. It's here, F, fox, great. And let's continue with the next one letter. And next one letter we have is letter V. V, V. So we need to find the animal called vampire bat. Where you can see the vampire bat? Can you see? Yes, it's here right after the letter U. V, V, great, amazing. And let's take the next letter. And the next letter that we have is O. So we need to find the octopus. Oh, oh. So it goes right after the N. Oh, here. Great. And let's go through the shapes. And here we have the shape that has the four sides. One, two, three, and four. And we need to find the pineapple on this board. Can you see the pineapple? Yes, it's here. So we can place our shape like that. Great. And the next one we have circle. Can you see the orange circle? And can you find the orange, the fruit called orange? Yes, the orange is here. So we could place our circle down here. Great. And let's look what we have here. We have F. Fox. Remember, we just have the letter F that represented the fox. And here we have the fox. So where should we place the fox? Can you see? Yes, we should put it like this. Great. We step by step completing our puzzle. So let's continue. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the blue crayon. So let's take and shake like this. Let's open. Great! We have so many things that we need to process and go through. So let's start with our fishes. And the fish that represents the number eight. Okay, and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here is the word eight. So we can place our fish here. Great. And let's look at this number. This number is number eight. Great. And we just counted. So number eight goes right after the number seven. Right here. Great. And let's look at this fish. This fish represents the number nine. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And let's take the number that called nine. This number is called nine. It, and this number is a blue color. So let's put it here like this. Great. And let's take the next. So the next gonna be the letter G and we need to find giraffe on this alphabet. Can you see the giraffe? Can you see it? Yes, it's here. So it's A, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Great. 
And let's take the next one. And the next one is W letter. It's called the W, right? So can you see the whale? Can you see the whale? Because the whale animal represents the letter W. Can you see it? Yes, it's here. We can put like this. Great. And let's take the next one. Letter. This is letter called P. 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 So we need to find the penguin. Okay, can you see the penguin? Yes, I can see it. It's here. Great finding. You're doing amazing. So we put it here. And let's go with this. This is called the plus sign. And it's used in the math to add to the numbers, right? So we need to find the sign where we can place it. And you can see it's really small. Here we have the minus sign. Here we have equal sign. And here we have plus sign. Great. Well done. And let's take the heart. So this is the heart shape. And we need to find where we can place it. And we need to find the strawberry. Can you see the strawberry? Yes, it's here. Here we have the heart shape and the strawberry. Great, well done. So let's take the rectangle. And where we place the rectangle? Can you see? It's called the rectangle. It has the four sides. It has one, two, three and four and it's a pink color can you see here's also one side two three and four great and it's called square right okay and let's take the next one and the next one we have the dinosaur and it's called the t-rex okay and where we can place the t-rex yes here is the place for the t-rex great and here we have another dinosaur. Can you see where we can place another dinosaur? Yes, it goes right here. Great. And we are only left with two crayons. We have the orange crayon and we have the brown crayon. So let's take the orange crayon, right? Let's take and shape like this. And what we have here, we have here the letters the numbers, the shapes, and the, also the sign, right? So let's go through. But let's start with the fish. So we have here the fish that represents the number one. And can you see the number one on this board? Can you see? Yes, here is the number one. And we can place our fish like this. Great. And let's take this number. This number is number two. And where we can place the number two? Can you see on this board? Here is the duck. And duck two, right? One, two. Great. We almost found all our numbers. And let's continue with the letters. And here we have the letter called A. And we need to find the alligator. And we pronounce this letter as A. Uh, uh. So let's find it. So here, can you see the alligator? Great, amazing. Let's place it. And let's pick the next one letter. And the next one letter gonna be letter H. And can you see, where is the horse? Can you see the horse? Yes, I can see, here is the horse. And we can place this letter like this. Great, let's continue. And the next one, we have letter Q. And we need to find the animal called quail. Where is the quail? Can you see it? It's somewhere here. Yes, it's next to the rabbit. Here is the quail, Q, that represents the letter Q. Great, amazing finding. So, and the next letter that we have is letter X. And it's a green color letter. So we need to find the X-ray fish. Can you see the X-ray fish? Here it is, X-ray fish. Great, 
amazing. So let's take the next one. And this is the letter that we call I, right? And I goes right after the letter H. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. Great. We almost found all our letters on this board. And we have another letter. It's called N. 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 So we need to find a narwhal. And where is the narwhal on this board? Let's see. Can you see? This is the narwhal. And this is the letter N, right? Great. Amazing. So let's take the shape. And here is the green color. And it's called the star shape. And where we can place the star shape? We need to find the flower. Can you see the flower here? Here is the flower and here is the star shape. And we can put like, like this. Great. And what we have here? Oh, this is the fire truck that helps to prevent the fire with the water. And let's see where we can put this fire truck. Let's look. Can you see the place? Yes, this is the fire truck. So we can put like this. Great. Amazing. And the last crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the brown crayon. So it's gonna help us to complete our puzzle board. Okay. So we have here the fish and fish represents the number 10. And where is the number 10 on this board? Can you see the number 10? Yes, it's here, number 10. So we can put this fish here. And let's take the number. So this is the number 10. Again, it's called the number 10. And it's a violet color. So we can place here. Great, we've completed all our numbers. And let's go through the letters. And the letter that we have here is letter K, K. And we need to find the koala. And where is the koala? Let's look. Can you see the koala? Yes, it's here, the koala. And it's letter K. Okay, great. And let's take the next letter. We have the letter B. And who represents that letter B? It's bear. And we have A and B, bear. So we can place this letter here. Great. And the next one letter that we have is letter R. And can you see on this board the rabbit? Can you see the rabbit? Yes, the rabbit, R, the rabbit. Great. Well done. And the last letter that we have is letter Y. And it's, and we need to find the yuck. Yuck, where is the yuck? Can you see? I know you can. Right, it's here, the yuck. Great, and it's a pink color letter. And the last shape that we have is a blue shape. And can you find the fruit called pear? Can you find? Yes, it's here. Great. And what we have here, let's turn around. And here we have a truck, truck, right? And we need to find a place for this shape, for the truck shape. Can you see the truck? Can you see the truck? Yes, it's here. Here is the truck and here is our shape. Great. We completed the wall puzzle game. Great. And we have those fishes and we have the numbers and we have the alphabet. So let's go through. We found all the numbers. We found number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great. And we found the symbols. We found the minus sign. We found the equal sign and we found the plus sign. And let's go through the alphabet. So this is letter A, this is letter B. Letter C, letter D, letter E, letter F, letter G, letter H, letter I, letter J, letter K, letter L, letter M, letter N, 
letter O, letter P, letter Q, letter R. And this letter, you know it, it's letter S. And this is letter T. And this one, U. And the next one, V. And the next one, W. And this, X. This one, Y. And the last one, Z. Amazing. And we also found different shapes. This is the green color, green color shape. This one also green color shape. This one pink color shape. This one pink also color shape. And this one, you know, it's a green color shape and it's a shape of the star. And this one, it's a blue color shape. And this one, it's a also blue color shape. And this color, you know it, it's, it's a color called violet color. And the next color, it's called the yellow color. And the next one, orange color. And the last, it's a heart shape. It's called red color shape, right? Great. And also we found the fire truck, you see? And it has the red color. And the next is truck that helps people and the next one is alien sitting in his spaceship. And how this is called? You know it. It's called Earth. That's where we live. And this animal, you know it. It has the big ears. It's called elephant. And this one is fox. Fox. Great. And this one we have the dinosaur. Great. And the last one we have the dinosaur called T-Rex. Amazing! We've completed the whole puzzle. Marvelous! I'm thrilled and excited that we've done so quickly and you've done such an amazing job. Congratulations! You can clap. See you in the next video. Great! Well done! And here we have game number three. Let's go! And today we're gonna learn about the letters. We have here the alphabet. And we also have here the puzzle with unicorn and with a castle. And you can see that there is a princess that's going out from the castle. And let's start and let's begin our journey. Oh, where the letters gone and we also don't have puzzles hmm but we have the crayons and we have a lot of them hmm let's start with the orange crayon and let's take it and shake let's open it wow we have here two puzzle pieces and three letters so let's start with the puzzle piece and let's turn and here we can see the rainbow and the part of the unicorn, hmm, where it could go. And also we can see that here is the ear of the unicorn. So it could go, yes, it could go here, great. And here we have the tail of the unicorn. And let's think where we can place. Let's look at this puzzle board. Yes, yes, you're right. We can place here in the corner. Great, we found two puzzle pieces. Let's go for the letters. So here we have the letter G. And we need to place it. Yes, here, great. And here we have the letter R. And we need to place it. Yes, sounds like this, R. And here we have the letter I. So let's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And it's a red color. This is violet color. And this one is orange color. Let's keep going. Let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the pink. Oh, we have two puzzles here, great. Let's see where we can place them on a the board. Hmm, here you can see the road to the castle. And here is also the tail of the unicorn. And here is the road to the castle. 
So we can place like this, we can connect two puzzle pieces. And here we have a bow on the hair of the unicorn. And here is the bow, the yellow bow of the unicorn. So let's maybe try to place here in the middle and connect all of them. Great! Amazing! We found four puzzle pieces. Let's continue with our alphabet. So here we have letter K. K, K. So it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and K. K. Great! And it's a yellow color. Here we have a letter U. Great! And it's a green color. So let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, and U. Great! And here we have a letter called Y. So let's go again. And it's a red color. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Great! And Z. So we found letter J, violet color. We found the letter I, red color. We found the letter K, yellow color. We found the letter R, orange color. We found the letter U the green color and we found the letter Y red color amazing and let's continue with our crayons so the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the green let's shake and open great we have here different letters and the puzzle piece and let's look closely at this puzzle piece so we have here the princess and the castle so we can place it where let's look here is the castle and here is the princess great let's do wow amazing so we already have completed the castle princess the road the tail of the unicorn and the hair of the unicorn great let's continue so here we have the letters for the alphabet and here is the letter e and it's a green color, so let's go A, B, C, D, and E, great! And here we have letter W, and it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, great! And let's do next one. And the next one is letter F. So let's think where we can place the letter F. Let's go through A, B, C, D, E, and F. Great. And let's think the letter F is which color? It's blue color. So let's look at this letter. How does it look? Is it letter Z or letter N? Is it go here? No. So we need to turn around and it's letter Z. Orange color. It's the last letter of our alphabet. Great. Let's continue. And the next crayon that we're gonna pick, the blue crayon. So let's open, shake it. Wow, there is so many letters. We have four letters. But let's start with the puzzle. And let's turn around. And here you can see we have the eye of the unicorn. And she's smiling. So let's look at our puzzle board, where we can place it. Let's think. Yes, it could go here. Let's try to connect those puzzle pieces like this. Great! We've com almost completed this puzzle. And let's continue with our letters. And here we have letter C. And where we can place it? Let's do it. A, 
B and C. And it's a yellow color. And here is the letter B. And let's think where we can place. Let's go. A, B. Great, it's an orange color. And let's go through. This is letter L. It is A, A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and L. And it's a green color. And the next one is letter Q. And it's a red color. So let's turn around and let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Great. We step by step completing our alphabet and our puzzle. Let's proceed with the next crayons. And, the, and we only have left three crayons. So let's pick which one, this or this one, or maybe yellow. Let's pick the yellow one and let's shake it. Wow, we have here again a lot of letters and we only have one puzzle. So let's start with our puzzle game with the unicorn and the princess. And let's turn around. And you can see here we have the unicorn leg and we have the bush and the roses. And here you can see also we have a leg, the roses and a bush. So we can place it here. Great. Well done. And let's connect like this. Amazing. And let's go to our letters. So here we have the letter called M. So like a mother, M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, M. Great, amazing. So let's take our next letter and the next letter gonna be S. So let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Great, well done. And the next letter that we're gonna have gonna be letter T. And letter T goes right after the letter S. So it goes here, gray. And it's a green color, letter T. And next one we have letter A, and it's a red color. And letter A is the first letter of our alphabet. Let's fit it here, gray. We almost completed our alphabet. And the next one is letter O. Let's go through each letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. And it's a violet color. Great. Let's see, we only have two crayons left and we have the red one and the brown one. So which one we should open? Let's maybe open this time two of them. Let's do this one. And then let's open the next one, the brown one. Let's shake and open. Wow, we have so many things here that we need to go through. We have two puzzle pieces and we have the alphabet letters. So let's start with the puzzle pieces. Here we have a eye of the unicorn. And also we have a horn of the unicorn. So you can see here's the horn and here's the horn. And here's also the part of the cloud. So let's place like this. Great. And let's take the legs of the unicorn. And it's at the bottom. So let's fit it here. And it's our last puzzle like this. Great. We completed our unicorn puzzle. Great. And let's go for the alphabet letters. So here we have the letter D. And let's go through A, B, C, and D. And this is D as the color green. And here we have the letter X. And let's go through the alphabet and see where we can place the letter X. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, H, 
I, J, A, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, and X. And it's a pink color letter. X, great. Let's go with the next one. And the next one is letter J. And it's an orange color. And let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. Great. And the next one is letter B. Ah, uh, B is a blue color. Mm, where we can place. And you can see that we have Q, R, S, T, U. And after U, we always have letter B here. Great, amazing. And the next one letter we have letter, let's turn around. It's letter P. And the P letter, let's go through. We can see where we can fit it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and P. You can see it's a shape of letter P. Let's put it here. Great, we almost completed our alphabet. And we only have two letters left. And this is letter N. N. So let's go through. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Great. Amazing. And the last one is letter H. And the letter H is here a small bridge. So it's a small bridge between those two shapes. And it's a pink color letter. So let's go through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. We've completed our alphabet. And the last time that we're gonna go through the alphabet and learn about the letters. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And we have a small song about the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. This is our alphabet, which we never must forget. Great, congratulations. And let's go through the colors of the alphabet. So this is the color red. This is the color orange. This is the color yellow. This is the color green. This is the color dark green. This is the color blue. This is the color violet. And this one, you know it, it's a pink color. And this one is the same like A. It's a red color. And this one, it's orange color. And this, you know it, say it, say it loud. And it's a yellow color. An L letter has the color, the same as D. And it's a green color. And the M has the same color as E. It's a dark green color. And N has the same color as those letters. And it's a blue color. And O has the violet color. P has the pink color. You can see H, P, it's the same color. And you can look at Q. Can you see it? A, look at I, A and Q. It's the same color. It's a red color. R is orange color. S, look at C, K, and S. And S is yellow color. And T is green color. And U is dark green color. And V is blue color. And W is violet color. And X is pink color. And Y, if you look at A, I, Q, and Y is what color? Great, it's a red color. And last one, Z, the last letter of our alphabet, is orange color. 
great we've gone through all the colors through all the letters and we also completed our unicorn puzzle we have here the castle we have princess we have tail of the unicorn we have small roses we have bushes we have rainbow we have clouds we have unicorn horn we have big eye of the unicorn we have small smile from the unicorn we have yellow bow on her hair great amazing you're doing so amazing that we've done this puzzle in no time see you in the next video thank you amazing we just completed the game number three and here we have game number four it's time to play and solve it let's go hello kids and today we're gonna learn about the wild animals names okay so we have here the camel the horse the ostrich the eagle peacock kangaroo hedgehog orangutan crocodile sea lions and polar bear and we also have the monkey puzzle that we're gonna solve so let's start okay let's start with monkey puzzle and first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna try to find the monkey so we're gonna rotate the puzzle piece and see if there is the part of the monkey right so let's do it differently and here we have the ear of the monkey great so let's move it here and let's take the next one who we have here again we need to find the monkey right so hmm where it could be let's ask mr pig should we take this this puzzle piece is this a monkey mr pig yes this is the monkey great let's take the next one hmm i think there will be no monkey so let's ask mr pig is this the puzzle piece from the monkey yes we're gonna take this so the next one let's take this one and rotate slowly and if you see the ear of the monkey then let me know okay here is the ear of the monkey let's take this and the next one what we have here okay let's rotate is this a tail of the monkey mr pig <laughs> yes this is the tail of the monkey let's take this great and let's take another puzzle piece and rotate and see if there is the monkey or maybe the tail or maybe the ear or maybe the smile of the monkey but i can't see any monkey here so let's ask mr pig and mr pig gonna help us is this a part of the monkey puzzle <laughs> mr pig saying yes great let's place it here let's take the next one and when we don't know where is the monkey then we're gonna ask the mr pig here let's rotate and see if there is the monkey if you see the monkey then let me know mm. this one i think this one is the monkey great let's take here we have another one puzzle piece so let's rotate and see if there is the monkey hmm maybe the leg of the monkey or the hand of the monkey or the eye of the monkey let's try to find i think it's this one what do you think mr pig <laughs> yes it's this one we should take this one great and last one we have and mr pig gonna help us so let's rotate and see if there is the monkey somewhere mm. let's rotate and mm. is this a part of the monkey puzzle mr pig <laughs> yes great so here we have the monkey puzzle so we're gonna start with the face of the monkey and what we need we need the ears so here are the ears of the monkey right so here is the right ear and here is the left ear like this and we need the mouth of the monkey here so 
Here is the mouth of the monkey. Okay, and here is the sun. Where we can place the sun? Like this, great. And we need the tail of the monkey. So let's grab the tail. And great, here is the tail of the monkey. And here is the leg of the monkey. So we just need to between them slowly, like this. Great, well done, good job. And we only left with two puzzle pieces. So let's maybe try this one here. And this one here, great, we've completed the monkey puzzle. Amazing! Thank you, Mr. Pig, for helping us! <laughs> and what we have here is the animal puzzle. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out, like that, and we're gonna mix them, right? Like this. So we don't know where is our animal. Okay, great. So let's grab it here and Okay, so first, who we need to find gonna be the camel, right, so let's try to find the camel, and where could be the camel, let's rotate, this is a orangutan, this is not a camel, so next one, is this a camel, no, this is horse, and next one, who is that, this is eagle, right, we need a camel, Hmm. Who is that? This is crocodile. It's not a camel. So we need a camel. Who is this? It's kangaroo. Hmm. Where is the camel? Is this a camel? No, this is polar bear. Maybe this one. And yes, this is the camel. So camel goes to his place. Here. Great. We found the camel. So let's try to find the horse. So let's take this one and rotate. And who is that? It's a peacock. And let's, who is that? It's a polar bear. Mm, where is the horse? And who is that? It's a crocodile. We need a horse. And who is this? It's a sea lion. Mm, where could be the horse? Maybe this one. Yes, this is the horse. So horse is going to the place like that. Great, we found the horse. And the next one is ostrich. So let's try to find the ostrich. And here we have the Mr. Pig who's gonna help us. So Mr. Pig is searching. And this is polar bear. Mm, we need the ostrich. And who is that? This is crocodile. Mm. Who is this? This is sea lions. No, we need the ostrich. Who is that? It's a kangaroo. Okay, maybe this one. Yes, this is the ostrich. So Mr. Pig gonna help us and place the ostrich. Great, we found the ostrich. And let's continue with the eagle. So. Let's go to our shapes and let's rotate this one. Who is that? It's an eagle? No, this is a orangutan. And the next one, who is that? It's a peacock. Mm. And who is this? It's a hedgehog, it's not eagle. Okay, let's rotate this one and yes, it's eagle, great. So let's place the eagle down here. Well done. So let's try to find the next one, a orangutan. So let's go to our shapes and let's pick any of this. Maybe this one, who is that? It's a polar bear. And we need a orangutan. And who is this? It's a crocodile. And we need a orangutan. Who is that? You know, it's hedgehog. Okay, where is the orangutan? Maybe this one. Yes, this is a orangutan. And the orangutan trying to find his place. 
here amazing so the next one we need the hedgehog right so the small animal great so let's try to see which one of these shapes is the smallest one this one this one or this one which one of those three should we turn this one okay and here we have kangaroo okay and here we have polar bear great and who we have here yes hedgehog so hedgehog is trying to find his place and great we found the hedgehog and let's try to find the kangaroo okay so mr pig gonna help us where's the kangaroo and yes here is the kangaroo yes yes here is the kangaroo jumping here and great we found the kangaroo thank you mr pig thank you very much and the next one we need to find gonna be the peacock see here we have a peacock right here great so we left with few shapes so let's turn this one and it's you know it polar bear and this one is crocodile and this one is sea lions and the last one is peacock so peacock we found the peacock great amazing so next one who we need to find gonna be the crocodile amazing let's look for the crocodile and who is that it's a sea lion right and this one is polar bear and this one is crocodile right here comes the crocodile great amazing next one is sea lions so let's look to our two shapes where is the sea lions where do you think left or right left or right yes right correct it's a sea lion great sea lions is going here well done and the last one you already know it it's a polar bear so let's take the polar bear and turn around and who is that you know it it's a polar bear great the last puzzle piece amazing we've completed all the puzzle pieces on this board so we found the camel the horse the ostrich the eagle the orangutan the hedgehog the kangaroo the peacock the crocodile the sea lions and the polar bear well done see you in the next video congratulations we just completed the game four and here we have our game five let's start and today we're gonna play the puzzle and we also gonna learn about the shapes we have orange color shape we have yellow color shape we have green color shape and we have blue color shape and the last one we have red color shape and here we have a puzzle and on the puzzle we have a zebra in a nature we have a sky we have a zebra we have flowers and we have rocks so let's start look and we have different crayons we have yellow crayon green crayon brown crayon orange crayon red crayon pink crayon and blue crayon one of these crayons have our shapes and puzzles and we need to open each one of them so let's start let's pick the first one and the first one that we're gonna pick gonna be pink crayon so let's open 
Let's see what we have here. And we have here puzzle, two puzzle pieces, the number, and five shapes. Okay, let's start first with the puzzles. And let's see where we can place them on the board. And here we have a small puzzle image. Okay, let's think together where we can place. So this looks like a part of the tail of zebra. So let's place it here. And here we have the other part of the zebra. And we should place it here. And let's try to combine them together. Yes, we combine two puzzles together. And let's continue with the shapes. So we have here different shapes. And these ones are yellow color, but these ones are red color. And let's start with yellow shapes. And it's different yellow shapes. This one has the holes in them, but this one doesn't have any holes. So we cannot place this shape here because it doesn't have any holes. So we need to pick these shapes, the yellow ones, and place it here, like this. Yes, great job. Let's continue with the red shapes and let's put away the yellow one. And we have here the five holes and where we need to place them. Let's think. Here we have two holes, here we have three holes, here we have four holes and here we have, yes, we have five holes. So let's place them here like this. Great. And the number that we have here is number six. And it's a pink color. Great. Let's continue with the next crayon. So let's place it here and let's pick next one. And the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the green color crayon. Can you hear? There is something inside. Let's open. One, two, three. Great, we have puzzle piece and we have four sh blue shapes. Let's start with the puzzle piece. And we also have a number. Let's start with the puzzle piece and let's think where we can place. First, let's look at this small image that's gonna help us to place the puzzle piece. And this is the corner puzzle piece. And let's think where we should place. Here we have a flowers and we have also the part of the grass. And here we also have the part of the grass and a small flower. So this puzzle piece should go here like this. Great. Let's continue with our shapes. So here we have four blue shapes and sh this blue shape has four holes. And let's think together where we can place on our shape board. Let's take this one and try to place here. It doesn't go here because we have here three holes. One, two, and three. So let's think where we can place it. Here we have four holes. One, two, three, and four. And here we have also four holes. One, two, three, and four. So let's place it. Yes, great job. And let's continue to place other shape pieces like this. Great, well done, congratulations. Let's continue with the number that we found. And this is number four. And it's a green color, number four. Look how shiny and big it is, great. Let's continue with our next crayon. Let's continue on our journey and let's pick one of these crayons. And let's pick the orange crayon. Let's shake it together and on one, two, three, let's open it. One, two, three. Great. We have different pieces here. And let's start with the puzzle pieces. Look, let's look at them. And here we have an eye of zebra and we have 
two puzzle pieces. So let's think together where we should place it. And this puzzle piece is a corner puzzle piece. So we can place it here, here, or here. Let's think together and let's look at this image. Here we can see that this is, should be the corner puzzle piece here. Let's place it. And then we have the eye of zebra. And let's try to place it here, like this. Great, well done. Let's continue on the shapes that we found. And we found four shapes. And these two shapes are the same. So we're gonna place them together. And here we have three shapes. We have green color shape, we have blue color shape, and we have two yellow color shapes. And we need to place these shapes on a board. So let's start with the green color shape. Can we place it here or here or here? No, because this color shape does not have any holes inside, so we cannot place them. Let's put it away. And we have blue color shape. And also this blue color shape doesn't have any holes, so we cannot place them here. Let's put it away. And the last one we have is two yellow shapes and they have two holes so we can place them on a board let's see here we have only one hole that we can place like this but we need to also place the another hole so it doesn't go here let's try the next one like this great well done and let's continue to placing the last one congratulations we found four yellow shapes with two holes and we completed this and we also found in the orange crayon we found two numbers and we have number two the red color number two and we have number seven the orange color great we don't have any other pieces inside of this crayon so let's continue by opening the next crayons so let's think which the next crayon we should open. And I think we should open the blue one. So let's take it and let's shake it like this. And on one, two, three, let's open it. One, two, three. Great, we have a lot of pieces inside of this crayon that we need to see. So let's start with the puzzle. So we have the puzzle of zebra. And we have a side puzzle. So it should be somewhere on the side. And you can see here we have a zebra's ear. So let's look at the image and let's look at the puzzle where we can place it. Let's think together. Where we should place it? Yes, we should place it here. Great work. Let's continue with number. And the number that we just found is the number five and it's a blue color number five. Look how big the number is, great. Let's keep going. And we found a lot of different shapes. So let's see we, which ones we have. So we have red shapes that we're gonna place together because they're the same ones. We have two green shapes that we're gonna place together, great. And we have big, huge red shape and small green shape. So let's start with the big, huge and red shape. Let's try to place on our shape board. And let's try. It doesn't work because this big red shape doesn't have any holes in, in it. So we need to put it away. Let's try with the green shapes. And we have here three holes let's think where we should place it we already placed some of the shapes on the board so let's try here no we still need to fill other two holes so we need to find the place where we can place it no it doesn't go here because we have here too many holes that we need to fill in so let's try with the third like this great and let's continue great we we put two shapes 
And here we have red shapes. And let's think together where we should place it. Where do you think? Yes, we should place it here, like this. Great. And the last one, we have green shape, the small one. Let's try if we can place it somewhere here. And we can't do it because this shape doesn't have any holes in them. Okay, let's continue with our crayons. And this crayon is empty. So we need to close it and try the next one. And the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the yellow one. Great, let's shake it and let's open it like this. Wow, how many shapes we have here and also the puzzle pieces. Okay, great. Let's start with our puzzle pieces and we have two puzzle pieces and we should place them somewhere on the side and let's think together where we should place them. I think this one should go here. Let's try. Great. And we also have the second one puzzle piece where we should place it. We have a part of the rock and I think it should go here. Great. Well done. And we also have three orange shapes and two more shapes. So these shapes are the same ones. So we're gonna place them together and we have two more and we have the yellow one and the green one. So let's think together where we can place the green shape on the board. And it doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have any holes. So let's put it away. And we have the yellow shape. And let's think together where we should place it. And it doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have any holes. And let's continue with our orange shapes. Let's think where we should place it. Yes, we should place it here. Great job. Okay, we found the yellow crayon and it doesn't have any other pieces inside. Okay, let's continue with two more crayons that we left with. So let's open the red one. Great, we found a lot of pieces here we can see. We have shapes and number and puzzles. So let's start with puzzle pieces. We have two puzzle pieces that we need to place on a board and we have the corner puzzle piece. And here we have the tree, the part of the tree and the leaves. Let's think where we can place it. And I think it should go somewhere here in the corner. Great, let's leave it here. And another piece, we have a side piece. And you can see that here we have the tree and the rock and the flowers. And I think it should go somewhere. Yes, exactly, here. And we almost completed our puzzle. Great work. And let's continue with our shapes. And here we have green shapes and the blue shape. And the blue shape, let's try to place it on a shape board like this. And it doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have any holes. Let's put it away. And let's look at this green shapes. And, it ha and, it and they have three holes. Let's place it like this. One and two. Great, congratulations. And the last one, we have a number and this is number one and it's a red color. Great, amazing. So the last crayon that we left with is the brown crayon. So let's open it. Amazing, we have shapes, we have puzzle pieces and we have number. So let's as always start with puzzle piece. So let's see where we can place them. So this puzzle piece is the tail of zebra and let's look where we can place it. I think we can place it. Yes, that's correct. We can place it here. And we only left with the one puzzle piece and it's a legs of zebra. Let's try to place it here on in a corner like this. Great, we completed our puzzle piece. You're doing so well. 
on completing all of the things that you are amazing. So let's continue with the shapes. And we have three different shapes. We have blue shape, the green shape, and the orange shape. So let's try with the blue shape. Let's try to place it somewhere on a board. And it doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have any holes. So let's put it away. And the next one shape, we have the green one. And it's also we cannot place anywhere on a board because it doesn't have any holes. Let's put it away. And the last one, we have the orange shape and it does have one hole. So let's try to place it here. Great. We completed all our shapes. Well done. So we completed our shapes board. We completed the puzzle board and we also found different numbers. So let's go through the numbers. We have number two, we have number three, we have number one, we have number five, we have number seven, and we have number ten. Amazing! We've completed this puzzle game. You're amazing. Thank you and see you in the next video. Yay! That was great! And the next game, our last one, it's game number six. So let's prepare ourselves and let's go. And today we're gonna learn about the animals. And we have a jungle. And here we have puzzle full of animals. We have giraffe, we have leopard, we have monkey. We have panda, tiger, we have another panda, the bird, and we have the sun and clouds. So let's start. Okay, so it's time to find the puzzle pieces for our puzzle board. So the first step that we're gonna do is that we're gonna turn around all the puzzle pieces so it's easier for us to find the puzzles and complete this puzzle board so let's turn around all the pieces okay so we have few left that we need to turn around okay so and the last one great so right now we've turned around all the puzzle pieces and here we have our image that's gonna help us to complete this puzzle. Okay, so let's start. So first animal that we're gonna find gonna be the leopard. So you can see it has the yellow with brown dots. Okay, and the leopard is smiling. So what we need to do we need to find the old puzzle pieces that have the yellow with brown dots. Can you see this one? This is the part of the leopard. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's place on a board. Okay, and then let's find the next one. Let's try to find the yellow body with brown dots. Is this a yellow body with brown dots? The leg? Correct. Let's take this puzzle piece and place it. Amazing. Let's try to find, is this a yellow with brown? No, it's a brown with the brown color. So this one is the tail of the leopard. Let's take this and place on the board. Let's try to find the next one. Is this a leopard? Yellow with the brown dots. Correct, let's take this and place it here. Then the next one, Yes, this is again the leopard with brown dots. Correct. Okay, so let's look at our image that's got that helping us. Let's look. So here we have the body, the tail, the head and the legs, right? So let's try to combine. So this is gonna be in the corner like this. So we have here the mushroom. And here is our leopard sitting. So the next one gonna be the tail of the leopard. So let's combine and press. Great, we just combine our first puzzle piece. And the next one gonna be the legs of the leopard, right? So 
let's connect them together and gray and the next one is the face you see the leopard is smiling okay let's take this puzzle piece and move it here and press gray so we almost completed the leopard and the last one gonna be the leopard face so here's the eyes and nose right so let's connect them together and gray done so what we need to find is the tail so small part of the tail and the ear right so let's try to find them so let's try to find the ear and the tail of the leopard and this one gonna take a bit of time because it's it's so small details but we need to find them so maybe this one looks like a ear of the leopard let's take the ear of the leopard and place it here so let's connect together and press gray so we just need to find the tail of the leopard can you see the tail of the leopard hmm let's look again so let's look at our helping picture and you see here is the tail that's what we need to find and if you look at this puzzle piece here you can see the small part of the tail and the bird so let's try to take this puzzle piece and let's move and press like this together great we've completed the leopard so the next animal that we're gonna try to find gonna be the giraffe and you see the giraffe has pretty long neck right so and the giraffe is pretty tall so let's try to find the giraffe so we need to find brown color you see the giraffe is brown color so let's find the puzzle pieces that has the giraffe brown color so is this a giraffe let's look let's compare to our image this one yes correct so we're gonna take this here and just gonna leave it then let's try to find the next one let's look at this one is this a giraffe this part can you see yes correct let's take this so the next one again let's look at this is this a giraffe you see let's take and let's try to compare so yes correct let's place it on our board so we already found three puzzle pieces let's continue so what we need to find is the neck is this a neck of the giraffe let's look at the guiding picture and yes this is the neck you see this is the neck of the giraffe let's take this and place on our board so we already found one two three four puzzle pieces so let's try to find the face of the giraffe so let's look at the image so here is the face so we need to find different parts so maybe try to find the nose of the giraffe so let's look at this mm, where it could be we accidentally found the head of the giraffe you see here is the sun let's look again together so here is the sun the giraffe head and here is the giraffe and the sun so let's take this and place it here so the next one we're gonna try to find gonna be the nose of the giraffe and still it's pretty hard because it's really small detail but let's look at this puzzle piece can you see there is the small part of the giraffe and let's compare so here we are here's the nose of the giraffe and here's the giraffe great let's take this and let's place on our board and the last one gonna be the tail of the giraffe right so here we have the part of the tail right and we need to find the bottom part so if we look at this puzzle piece this one we could see that here are the legs and the tail and let's look at the guiding image can you see the legs and the tail great let's take this okay so right now we found all the puzzle pieces so what we're gonna do we're gonna try to connect them so the first thing that we're gonna start with gonna be the neck of the giraffe so here is the neck of the giraffe right and here is the neck of the giraffe so let's combine and press great 
So the next one gonna be the face of the giraffe and the ear. So let's see where the face. Can you see? Here is the small horns of the giraffe and the sun. So if you look here, we have the sun and the face, right? So let's press it and great, amazing. And then the next one, what we have is gonna be the legs of the giraffe, right? So here is the flower and the legs. And also the part of the leopard, you see? The small part. Let's press and great. And let's look at our guiding image. Let's look at our guiding image. Let's look, here are our legs. They are at the bottom, right? So let's take this and let's place it here, right? Like this, great. But we need a puzzle piece that gonna combine them. And I think it should be this one. Let's try and see. Does it look great to you? Does it connect? Yes, because we have the tail, we have the legs and we have the body. So let's press. Amazing. Well done. So the last one that we need to combine gonna be the body. So we're gonna complete the body, you see? And here's the small part of our Simba lion, right? So here's the giraffe and let's press it. Hooray! We almost completed the giraffe, but we left some pieces, the legs, so we need to find the leg, right? So let's try and see where is the leg. Let's try to find it. Mm, where you can see the giraffe leg. Can you see? Yes, here's the giraffe leg. Let's look at our guiding image and you can see that here's the giraffe leg. Yes, great. Let's take this and try to press. Great, amazing. And the, another piece that we have, but we haven't used, gonna be the nose of the giraffe. Here you see, here we have the nose of the giraffe. It's really important to focus on small details. So great, let's, amazing, complete. So the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the monkey. Let's look at this. Here is our monkey that's standing on one hand. Great. And here's our face of the monkey. Here's our first puzzle piece. So let's try to play. And where is the face of the monkey? Here is the face of the monkey. So let's try to connect and press. Great. We found the face of the monkey. Nice job. So the next one gonna be the tail of the monkey, right? So let's look at the guiding image. Here is the tail of the monkey that what we need to find. And let's look, here is our puzzle piece, the tail of the monkey, you see? Amazing. So let's take this puzzle piece and let's place it. So like here, so we have found the tail and boom, done, great. And we need to find the left leg, right? The left leg of the monkey. So here we have the left leg. Let's try to combine with other puzzle pieces. And let's press, should we do it? And yes, great. We completed the half of the puzzle. We found the monkey, the leopard and the giraffe. And also we have the funny sun, great. So the next one that we're gonna complete gonna be the tiger. Can you see the tiger? So it has the orange color with black stripes. Okay, so we need to find the puzzle pieces that has the orange color with black stripes. Can you see? This is the orange with black stripes. This is the tail of the tiger. Great. So let's try to put it on the puzzle. So here we also have ladybug and press it. Great. We found the tail of the tiger. And then let's try to find other pieces of the tiger. So is this the tiger? Tiger is standing. You see the orange with black stripes and the white belly. Let's look at our guiding image and compare. Yes, this is the piece that we need. So let's try to combine and one, two, three, let's press. Great. We found the bottom part of the tiger. We found the tail and the legs and a bit of belly. Great. So what we need to find is the 
hand of the tiger here. So let's take this one piece and let's compare. Yes, this is the piece that we need. So let's take this piece and try to connect like this. And great, we found another piece for the tiger. Amazing. So there is the face of the tiger. And can you see the face of the tiger? Is this a tiger? No, is this a tiger? No, is this is the tiger? Yes. Let's take this puzzle piece and connect like this and press. Great. Well done. So we need to find the part of the tiger, but we also need to find the panda. Let's look at our guiding image. Guiding image is always helping us. So here is the hand and here is the baby panda and mama panda. So let's try to find the mama panda and the baby panda. Let's look at our puzzle pieces that we are left with. So this is all puzzle pieces that we are left with. Where is the mama panda and the baby panda together? Is this one? Yes, correct. Or this one? This one, correct. Well done. So let's take this and place it and press. Great, amazing. And then let's try to find the another panda. You can see at the top there is another panda sitting and eating bamboo. Okay, maybe this is the father. Can you see the panda here? Can you tell me where is the panda? Can you tell? Yes, this is the panda. Let's take this puzzle piece and we need to place this here. Let's look at our guiding image. And yes, here is the puzzle piece. You see at the top of the tiger, right? Above the tiger, we have this puzzle piece. Let's take this and where we should place this puzzle piece? Tell me where we should place. Do you know where we should place this puzzle piece? Yes, you're correct. Well done. Let's place it here and press. Amazing. So we are left with few puzzle pieces to complete this jungle animal puzzle. Great. Let's take next one. And the next one gonna be the Simba, the lion. Okay, can you see the Simba? So we need a face. Here's the face of the Simba, right? So, and here is another part of the face. Can we connect these pieces together right away like this? Yes, great. So we found two pieces and then we connected them. So let's take all of this together. So here is the bird and here is the bird, right? Where we should place this. Do you know where we should place these puzzle pieces? Yes, we should place them like this. And let's press. And yes, amazing, well done. And then what we need to find is the eye of the panda here. So we need the eye, the left eye. Let's look at our guiding image. Let's look at this puzzle piece and this image. Can you see the eye? And here is the eye. So it's gonna place like this. Great, let's take this one. Let's look at our puzzle. Do you see where we should place this puzzle piece? Can you see the place? Yes, you're right. Nice job. We should place it right here. Amazing. So we left with three puzzle pieces. So what we need to do, we need to find the tail of the Simba. Let's look at this puzzle piece. Can you see that there is the tail of the Simba here? Yes, and that's what we need. Let's look at our puzzle. Do you know where we should place this puzzle piece? Please let me know right now. Do you know? Yes, you're correct again. We should place it right here. Great job. Let's press. Amazing. We only left with two puzzle pieces. And the second, we need to find the leg of the Simba. Can you see the leg? Which one does contain the leg? Yes, this one. So we have the leg and the paw. Let's take this. Let's look at our guiding image and Yes, this is where we should place it, at the bottom, right, of the Simba. So let's take where we should place this puzzle piece, here or here? Where do you think? Let me know. Should we place here? Yes? No, you're right, we should place it here. And press, great. We almost completed our puzzle piece. So the last piece that we need to find gonna be the 
part of the belly of the Simba. You see, this is the belly with the fury. Okay, let's take this and how we should place it like this or like this. Please let me know like this. Yes. Okay, let's try and great. We've completed our jungle animal puzzle and here we have the monkey that is dancing. Here we have the leopard, the smiling. Here we have the giraffe that's relaxing. Okay, here we have the Simba, the lion that's smiling. Here we have the father panda. Here we have the mama panda and the baby panda giving the bamboo to baby panda. And here we have the tiger that's having the thumbs up. Amazing, well done. We've completed this jungle animal puzzle. See you in the next video. Yes, you've completed all games. Well done. See you in the next video. Thank you, kids. Bye. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.